watch it for evening. And this is my video response to Survival Mike. Swiss Army Knife Challenge. I'll be making something using only the knife I won from the challenge that Survival Mike put out last time, which is the second prize. Swiss Army Knife, it's got serrations on that side, a locking blade, and there is a saw in there. Okay, so let's see what I come up with. All the best, Mike can all the tactics. Okay, plan being like this, using the saw. What I'm doing, I'm going through like this and like that. I'm not actually cutting all of the stick at one time, I'm going to cut maybe a third of it. So that back edge and the front edge. And when you get to this sort of point, I prefer to hold that so this doesn't drop onto my hand. Alright? goal is, is to remove this piece here, retain either of these hooks, that shaft, and retain that V. So what I'm looking at is to cut there, nice clean joint there with the saw, and about there. Hook. And then with this end, I'm trying to keep just for now. Um, that's dead, so what I want to do is do try that for now and then trim that up there. See you back in a minute.
from my bed. Bouncing feather. slip and make a mistake. So I wouldn't be doing this just in case I, I slipped. I certainly wouldn't be doing something like that because down these two legs here you've got thumping great arteries the size of your finger with a femoral artery and you want to keep any nice movements away from you here. All right? So I'm sat here, the wood's there and I'm away from myself. Away like that and say I'm here Mitchell filming's there ok so think about safety when you're using your knife think about this triangle all the organs in your body down to sensitive areas
to them. There's the first one. Just a second, and it looks about it's about 120 degrees. It's about there. Oop, that slipped. There. Come back in a bit when we get the last one wired up. Right, Mitch. Okay, right, now this is totally hit and miss because my flint napping is rubbish. Okay, so down here. Here, Mitch. There we go. Right, using the brolly that we found to catch the glass, I'm going to attempt to use that part of the knife to get a vague triangle that will go in my spear. So I'm, trying, I'm thinking somewhere about that size. Good enough. Okay, so what I'll try and do is get rid of that round bit. I've still got another chance the other side. Okay, and I'll just try and lose that little knuckle on the end there. ultimate fail for everybody to watch. First time with the flights. I'm only going to get one go at this and I will pick up the bits afterwards as soon as I caught the rest on the umbrella. This is how bad these are played. I want that. Do it. Do the air. Okay, so what I'm going to do is introduce this Swiss Army knife to you. Um, this is the one that my I got a second prize after Ben got the olive joker knife. Um, I think it was the drill bow, bow drill, little bowman, which I got a small one. Okay, so this Swiss Army knife has the single hand opening hole, bit of a spider co, with the serrations on the side there. It does lock. Okay, it does have a saw. Which is quite long, quite sturdy as well. The actual locking is very positive. Okay, we have a bottle opener and a flat blade screwdriver. And on this side, 
we have a can opener. Now what I thought I'd do is have a go at um, opening the can. So I'll get rid of the bottle opener. I'll get rid of the saw. And we'll put the can opener a bit in. Now you saw me slicing off these nylon straps. And we gained our little candle there. So basically, there he is. Yeah, he's doing it. And I dare say you would have got into your can. And then on the back end, we've got a little key ring, cross headed Phillips screwdriver, and there's a nut there. Ooh. Slotted all. Don't forget the toothpick. Oh yes. Now we also have, as for Swiss Army knife, we have the toothpick. And on this side, that's the tweezers. There are, so that's my Swiss Army knife. And so we make an apple apple using only this. And all the best for the other contestants. Well, what's his blade in? All the best.